You know, one of my favorite television series of all time was 77 Sunset Strip, ran from 1958 until 1963, and was kind of the first TV series to glamorize the private, uh, the private eye, the private investigator, you know, the detective. Uh, the show was a lot like Mammy Vice of its day, you know, it set fashion trends, it was very, very cool, very, very hip, and it had a breakout star with Ed Kooky Burns, who had a hit single, believe it or not, in, uh, that was, went to number four on the charts in 1959, called Kooky Kooky Lemme Your Comb. Uh, this is a day and age where most shows are available in reruns and on DVD, but Sunset Strip, for some reason, uh, has not been for the most part. But there were a heck of a lot of collectibles, and that's what I'm here for, to talk about those items that were available on this show. This is Collector's World. My name is Dr. J. If you're watching this, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button above my head. And uh, check out all the episodes of Collector's World and uh, all the other videos I have on my channel. Dr. J for PM, guaranteed to enjoy something on there. All right, here we go. These were the items that were available on 77 Sunset Strip, and there were a lot. I'm going to start off with the uh, soundtracks uh, from the show. You know, Miami Vice spawned a hit soundtrack album as well in the mid-1980s, and this is kind of the same thing. 77 Sunset Strip, you know, uh, did have a hit series. That, uh, you know, the music was very popular, and so, you know, came the first soundtrack album. And uh, this is the CD, funny enough. And... Uh, of course, they didn't have CDs. You had to have the record back in the 1950s, and this was the record album, which was, uh, you know, these are getting to be pretty, pretty rare, uh, very rare collectibles. Uh, Ed Kooky Burns, as I mentioned, the breakout star, very popular. This is a 45 of his Christmas song. He sort of spoke in what was considered hip jive talk and all that, you know, daddy-o and the ginchiest and whatnot. And, uh, you know, he had the hit single, Kooky Kooky Lemme Your Comb, and, of course, it was popular enough that they actually had him do an album. And even Ed Burns said, but I don't sing. But that didn't really matter, you know. Uh, all the stars were putting out albums at the time, and Ed Kooky Burns was no exception. That was the record, and it even made it to CD. Which is exactly my point about the TV series being released on DVD. You're releasing the soundtracks, for Pete's sake, to CD. Modern day technology. Why not the TV series to DVD, you know? I mean, a lot of baby boomers and all that look, you know, back at the show very, very fondly. It's kind of fallen into mythic status, but for some reason, not available commercially, and I don't know why. Many, many items on 77 Sunset Strip. Look at this. This is the game board, and uh, an extremely rare item. 77 Sunset Strip made it to be in a game. Look at this, a free wallet photo came enclosed with your Ed Kooky Burns comb from 77 Sunset Strip. They really don't come any rarer than this. There was novels on 77 Sunset Strip, and uh, this is the series creator, I believe, Roy Huggins, and uh, did an original novel based on 77 Sunset Strip. Kooky, as I mentioned, had his own uh, way of talking and all that, and uh, this was sort of a little kooky guide with all his... See at the top there, kooky talk. And there was other interesting things to occupy your time with. But this is a very, very, very rare item. And uh, kooky, of course, you know, was the teen idol. That means the kids are going to want to take something to school to put in their locker and whatnot. And this was a binder, which had a lot of kooky's hip phrases on there. And again, a whole bunch more of his hip phrases on the back. And, I mean, this really is a rare, rare item, and one of my favorites. Uh, there were 77 Sunset Strip buttons with Kooky and the other members of the show's cast, which was Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. and Roger Smith. Many years later, Kooky was still cover boy material, TV guide, you know, look at that. It's Kooky 10 years on, the man from 77 Sunset Strip. So Ed Burns, of course may possibly have invented the word typecasting, you know, with uh, his character Kooky, because it really was that popular. Uh, Sunset Strip, of course, was in comic book form, and there were quite a few comics. Uh, I always loved the Dell comic book series, and I mean, I really loved it because they had fantastic photographs on the covers of their comic books, and this existed for a lot of films and a lot of other TV shows. Kooky, of course, became, uh, you know, was on the cover of many magazines, many of the Teen Idol magazines of the time, and you know, some of the more mainstream magazines. But Kooky also had magazines entirely devoted to Ed Kooky Burns. Which was pretty cool. And uh, you had the fabulous story of Ed Burns, Kooky. These are actual magazines from the late 50s. And uh, I'll tell you, they're some of my favorite items of all time. 
Yes, Kooky did have a great head of hair as well. <laughs> and still does, in fact, from what I hear. But as you can see, Ed Burns on the cover of almost everything. In the late 80s or uh, the early 90s, whatever it was, Television Chronicles put out uh, a tribute to Sunset Strip, and it had an episode guide and uh, an interview with Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. and a bunch of great photographs, etc., etc., episode guide, the whole works. Uh, this was a sort of detective novel series, <clears throat> and uh, it was devoted to this particular issue, 77 Sunset Strip, <clears throat> and uh, a couple of original stories in here. Very neat. Sunset Strip was very, very popular in Europe, in Britain, and they had a comic album which was basically a compilation of the fantastic artwork from the comic books here in America. But this was for the fans in Britain. Very hard to get this item. And a very cool item. Ed Kooky Burns, you know, uh, was television's first teen idol. In fact, I think it says it right at the bottom here. Television's first teen idol tells his story. Kooky no more. This was Ed Burns' autobiography. And, uh, you know, this was a great book. Absolutely great book. Every fan needs this book. The story of Ed Kooky Burns, told by Ed Kooky Burns. Of course, Sunset Strip was on the cover of a few television guides in the 1950s and early 60s. There's Kooky with his own cover. And, of course, the whole cast made the cover as well. Now, the only thing we haven't really covered are the actual episodes of the TV show. Now, as I mentioned, it is not available commercially, the uh, TV series, which means you can't go into the store and buy it on DVD. So you got to do a bit of underground shopping. The series is available on DVD from uh, fans that have, <clears throat> you know, taped it off television or whatever on the rare, rare times that it uh, did rerun, and I mean very rare times that it rerun. But it is available nonetheless. You just got to know where to look, and uh, sometimes part of the fun, it's kind of like being an archaeologist, you know, like Indiana Jones, and part of the fun is hunting down some of these elusive collector's items. And these <clears throat> are the episodes of 77 Sunset Strip. This is part one. Um, I've seen a few compilations out there, and uh, this is my favorite. It's a box set that actually has, uh, you know, is, uh, um, uh, DVD discs 1 to 12, you know, there's 12 in here, and... Uh, and, uh, you know, DVD discs 13 to 24. So you've got the whole series available on 24 DVDs. And uh, they're not bad, actually. You know, they're taped off television. The picture's really good. Whoever puts these together does a great job. So 77 Sunset Strip, um, fallen into mythic status nowadays. You know, uh, people uh, hold it in great, great high regard. Uh, and some people may not even have seen the show and know what it is that they're talking about. But uh, for those that have seen it or for those that were around in the day when it was on, you've got the fondest memories of one of the coolest shows on TV with easily one of the coolest teen idols of all time, Ed Kooky Burns, 77 Sunset Strip. Well, it'll be eternal. <laughs>